Correct. When yes. Kid yeah. tested, gain yeah. MRD approved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Radio made it to the murder mansion. What, what does he have? He's got a he's got a he's got a box from DX Engineering. I wonder what it could be. It's a box of bubble wrap. It <gasps> says I got stickers and a box. It says Yezu FT DX10. Get out of here. What? Front to camera. <laughs> That's how I know we're professional. The side towards enemy. <laughs> <laughs> That's on another channel. Oh, what? Another sticker. Ooh. Extreme close up. Woo! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I finally got this. Hold on. It's a tank unpacking video. You ready? Do it. <laughs> oh, Ooh. wow. She's a sexy. I, I can't believe I finally got this radio. I was talking, been talking about it for three, four months. Yeah. Attempted to buy it once, and I failed. She's Look a at beauty. that. Let's get it. She's a beauty. Oh, oh. You ready? Do it. Oh, that felt Look at so how good. how clean it is. It'll never be that clean again. Nope, nope. You gonna do the big one? No. No? No. What? Jason, man. I just got this new radio. I was hoping that you can point and show me some cool features and just basics operations. Basic operations? Yeah, like what is random button that do, or that uh, do, okay. or these things, That's or easy. let's turn down the volume. I know that part. Yeah, <laughs> well, okay. All right, so the coolest thing about the, well, not the coolest thing, but one of the cool things about this radio is it's got dual VFOs. So it's obviously it's touch screen, okay? So you can, you're on VFO A right now, and VFO B, you can, you can change it. Maybe you can't change that part. Well, you okay, so you can change frequency by touching it like that. What happened? Oh, I saw something smoking. That's your cigar, though. <laughs> I have my. Oh, it did it again. That yeah, yeah, that's it. it. Yeah, you've got a bad connection on your power pole there. All right. All right. Okay. So you've got you've got AF, VFO A and B, which you can switch by this button right here. And what button's that? That's the, the AB. AB. The oh. AB button. And you can put uh, you, this is VM for for um, VFO and memory which you can do that if you want to. I don't use memory in my HF, in any of my HF radios. I just, I don't see the point, honestly. That's, I mean, you know, if you want to memorize a frequency, great, and that you want to go back to and check it into a net every day, mm -hmm. then that's cool, you can do that. But I don't generally do that. I generally just say, oh, I'm just going to uh, tune through the band and see what's going on, so. But you have that option if you want it. M brings up this, this memory checklist here where you can see all your memories. Okay, so that VFO memory memory list there. You turn that off and on. Your fun, you, this button right here, this knob right here, is going to be your most important thing because when you push it in, that's how you get to the menu. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all of this stuff in here is what you can set your menu to. You can, as you're turning this knob here, I'm not sure how well that shows up on the camera, but there's a red box right there around color right now. And then now you turn it to the right and it's contrast, and that's how you select. So you can select the dimmer, and then you can turn the dimmer once it goes back to the... Ooh. See, there you go. So yeah. you can turn it really bright or really dark. Maybe you not know, bright right now. Yeah, for right now that's better. And then, but you're always going to go back to it. But that button will stay on the dimmer until you change it. So it's always going to be on dimmer. So like if you're making if you're making contacts for the next 30 minutes and you're like, oh, you hit this button, it's still going to be on dimmer because that's the last thing you use. Okay. okay. So to change it, you push it in again, you change it to the next whatever. Okay. So, so did you just, oh, it's always there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's so gonna, you, it's gonna be on there until you change it. So there, so now we're on contrast. So now we can go to contrast. Okay, okay, and okay, then like get that. to the main menu, you just hit and the then, button. Correct, again. you just push it in. Right, yeah. There's a there's a, there's a recorder in here where you can, so BKN on needs to be on if you're going to use the internal record feature. If you're going, to, the internal record feature is a little bit tricky. To I might have to show you that because I might have to figure it out myself. Well, do we need an SD card? Uh, yes, you do need an SD card, actually. Yeah, so you'll have to put an SD card in it for that anyway. Um, and then, you know, to get out, you hit back. So, but that's that's going to be your main... Most of your time is going to be spent in this menu to, mm -hmm. to change all your settings and whatnot. I suggest going to my channel and looking at the video that uh, in, Doug in 4 h and I did because he's an RF field technician from Motorola. 
and he showed me how to go in here and tweak all the settings in the deep menus of the receiver and the transmitter on this radio for sideband. Well, for we did one for sideband. I don't remember if we did it for CW or not, um, but it's there's a lot of stuff you can change in here because there's a lot of deep menus in here. But but that's the uh, that's the main menu here. So on your um, you don't have an antenna hooked up right now, otherwise you'd be seeing the 3D. 3D SS is the 3D How waterfall. How do you change that? Because I want the 2D. Touch, touch it. Just touch it? Yep. You see uh, how it's white now? Yeah. Now it's blue. That means yeah. it's turned on when it's blue. Okay. So you just turn it off there. Multi, you can turn this on. So now you've got your scope, mm -hmm. you've got your waterfall, and you've got your, your, your oscilloscope, and you've got your waterfall on top. Okay, mm -hmm. you can turn that off and on. Expand will create, will make your waterfall larger and it takes away this stuff here. Okay, so those, I usually leave it, that's my default view, that's my personal opinion. I just like that better. You can do it however you want to, it's totally up to you. The things you want up here, okay, this is your attenuator. So if you have, if you're hearing a, a station way out there in the noise, there's a lot of noise coming in, or maybe you have some RFI, you can turn the attenuator on to 6 dB, 12, or 18 dB. Most of your less expensive radios are gonna have one setting on the attenuator, maybe three or six dB. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that my IC705, I'm sorry, my IC706 and my IC7000 both have just one setting. You, you like turn the attenuator off or on, so it's just, it's either 6 dB or nothing. So the great thing about this radio, this radio ha goes all the way down to three uh, to 18 dB. It has three different settings for the attenuator besides all. That's gonna eliminate a lot of noise if you're trying to pull in weak signals. So that's a good thing there. This right here, this is your IPO. This is what Yezu calls their, their pre-amplifier. They okay. call it IPO, I forget what that stands for, okay? But IPO is basically off and that's no, no preamp at all and then you can turn it on amp one or amp two, and amp one and amp two is gonna make the signal louder, it's gonna bring in more signal, mm -hmm. so that you can, like, if you, again, if you hear, station down if the you noise. hear a station down in the noise, it signals there, but perhaps his audio is low, you can turn on the amplifier to bring in more audio, okay? It's gonna bring in more noise too, but you can, you can kind of adjust that. I really kind of like leaving that on APO, and I leave the attenuator off, and I just turn it on as I need it, as I'm turning around the band. That's my own per personal preference again, so you can do whatever you want to. This right here is how wide you want your um, your bandwidth to be, and this right here is is your uh, AGC, your auto, fast, mid, and slow. What's AGC, auto? It's auto gain control. Okay. Okay, it's going to, it's going to allow you to hear things, again, low noise signals in the distance. There's a big, there's a lot of different aspects to AGC, a lot of different technical material to AGC. I can't explain it all to you right now. And I don't even understand it all, quite frankly. All I but know is when you're doing FT8, you want it fast. You want it fast on FT8, that is or, correct. Or just yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. So so you can turn it off or you can turn it on auto, however you want to do. But yeah, but that's your auto gain control is what that is. So those are going to be your main features that you're going to use, you know, the AV setting. Mm -hmm. So this is cool if you have, say, an infet half wave that's resonant at 10, 15, 20, and 40, okay? And you're wanting to use 40, but you're wanting to use 20 also, which is what you have it set to. Mm -hmm. So you can easily switch back and forth between the bands. You can, Ooh, if nice. there's a DX station over here on like 7.215, you can listen to that and he's working a pile up. Say, okay, well, I'm going to go back to 20 and I'm going to call CQ Poda, CQ Poda, whatever. And then you can go back and check on him as time goes on. Maybe his signal's down right now, but it was loud earlier and you're going to check to see if his signal comes mm -hmm. back, that kind of thing. So it's, it's, it's cool to have a dual VFOs like that you can listen to multiple bands on. This is your noise blanker, which will eliminate RFI if you're around power lines or something. This is your digital noise reduction. Again, there's a whole algorithm that John Crook from Yezu explains on my channel about how digital noise reduction works. Just think of it as like a way to eliminate noise and pull in weak signals. Okay. Okay. And you'll, you you can play with that and you can kind of see how you want to. Obviously, AF is your, is your volume like that and RF and squelch is your RF, RF gain and your, and your squelch right oh, there. Oh, right there. So right there. Oh, yep. that's so nice. Yeah, yeah, it's right there around it. So this is obviously your tuning knob right here mm -hmm. and this is your fast tuning knob. You can tune real fast by turning this instead of just turning this. You see how, so these, these smaller numbers turn with this. This one turns with the, the larger number. So you can turn tune up and down the band a lot quicker with the, the large knob. And then the thing I like the best is this lock button. Once you find the frequency, nice. and now you're now you're calling CQ Poda on a frequency, or you're trying to work a DX station, mm -hmm. and now you now when you reach over and try to and 
touch something over here and you knock this knob accidentally, now you're not going to knock yourself That off. happened to me when I was... It happens to me all the when time. When I was doing um, my first activation on this, yep. I was calling CQ, then I bumped it, and I was like, oh, oh. now I'm like three kilohertz <laughs> right. this way, right. and let me yeah. tune back It up. happens to me all the time. <laughs> and this, this is a really big knob, so it's 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 good that Yezu builds big... Uh, not the... Not the, knob. Kind, not the kind of knob that you're talking about. <laughs> this is a good a, a, a good size tuning knob, and it's good that Yezu makes that, but mm -hmm. once you get to the frequency you want to, that lock button is almost I irreplaceable. I mean, you've got to have that because you're going to knock that. That was one of my questions time. I was about so, to say. Where is the lock yeah, button? Yeah, it's right there. And it, you don't have to go into the menu. That's a great thing. You don't have to go into the menu. You just click the lock button, and you're done. Now we can go. Now, obviously, band. You can change the bands there. That's your megahertz. Mm -hmm. 14 megahertz, 18 megahertz, 21 megahertz. Fine. You can change that to fine so that this tunes finely, I should say, than this. So you can see, like, the zero, the very far right zero stays at zero. Mm -hmm. If you turn it on fine, the zero will change numbers. So mm -hmm. you can more finely tune it right that if you turn that on. I very rarely use that. You can work split over here. Mode is obviously single sideband. Mm -hmm. FM, digital upper sideband for FTA. CW, low and high, AM and whatnot. So you can change your mode there. I don't really use any of these things over here. Other this, than the lock. Other than the lock, yeah. This is your notch filter. Mm -hmm. And once you turn that on, you can change your notch filter with these, these knobs here. This is the notch filter, turns it on and, and has the red light come on. So that turns it off and has a red light on the contour that turns it off. But once you start turning these knobs, it'll automatically turn that button on for you. So you can match, mess with notch and contour, which is useful for, if you're trying to work a station and there's a station right above or below that station you're trying to work and he's kind of interfering with the signal you're trying to receive, mm -hmm. you can turn on a notch, you can notch that other station out that you don't want to hear, or you can turn on contour and kind of tune him out, for lack of a better word, so that you can hear the station that you want to hear rather than hearing a bunch of static all around it. It's especially useful on like field day yeah. when there's a thousand people in yeah. the air. So, you, you know, cut on off the rest of the right. Obviously, this is right here. This is your tune button. It's got a fantastic tuner inside of it. Mm -hmm. So you just you just hit I'm not going to hit it right now cuz you don't have an antenna hooked up. Those are the basic features that I use when I'm using this radio on portable parts on the air, which is this is my current favorite radio to use parts of the air. And yeah. headphones. You can attach headphones there, standard 3.5 millimeter jack so you're your cheap Amazon headphones, they don't transmit, obviously, but you can listen. Yes. So you can... Another crucial thing to have when you're at a field day. Correct. When yes. Kid yeah. tested, yeah. gate MRD approved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's that's a headphone jack, obviously. And then this is your... You can... A voice activation there with, with mm. Vox. I never really have used that. I don't really like Vox. But that, again, that's me. So. Awesome. That's the basics of it, and that's the basics of what you're going to want to uh, use on a normal parts in the air activation field day whatnot yeah whatever i just wanted to quick the step step through of everything yeah and what was qmd i don't remember what that is honestly it's not turning on now for whatever. i've never used that right. so there's certain buttons around here that that's a lot more depth mm -hmm. in depth and detailed than what i have used um i don't know go read up on it and see awesome so thank you jason yeah no problem all right um any station anyway or uh cq photo Park to Park Station, come back. Kilo, November 4, Romeo, Fox, Tango, Park Kilo. Park. Kilo, November 4, Fox, Romeo, Tango. I'm hearing you a 5555. Seven three. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for uh, watching. I do appreciate that. This is Kilo Golf Five Alpha Hotel Juliet calling CQ Photo. Kilo Nine or Kilo, 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 Kilo Four Kilo. Romeo November Alpha. Uh, QRZ QRZ. Any station anywhere? Kilo Twelve. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You can support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And to all my tankers out there, go forth and conquer.